Hi guys! We have some ebooks and e courses you can learn French with, but first, make sure you try our free e course at streetfrench.org. Hey, so this is Charlie from streetfrench.org, and I'm going to be telling you about what I do for a living here in France. So, I am an English teacher at a French university, and this is my second year doing this. So, I'm going to give you a brief overview of what I do at work. Um, how I got the job, that sort of thing, okay? So first of all, a bit of a disclaimer, this is just kind of a general overview. You know, in, the, in a few years, maybe things might change, maybe the requirements might change, I don't know, but I'm just gonna give you a general overview of what I do as a, an English teacher and how I got the job and that sort of stuff, okay? So first of all, the position is called a lecteur d'anglais, like a lecturer, like an English lecturer. Or if you are a female, you would be a lectrice d'anglais. And basically what that means is that you are all alone in the classroom. You're not like a language assistant. You are actually the teacher. And um, yeah, it might be you and 30 other students. I've had 40, almost 50 students in a class once. It was a bit crowded, but yeah, you're all alone. And um, yeah, sometimes they give you guidelines. They tell you what to teach. They give you a brochure to teach out of or and like videos, that sort of thing. Some classes, I, I make up the curriculum on my own. I, I'm in like 100% in control of what we teach or what I teach in the classroom, which is really cool. I like having that, that freedom, that flexibility. Uh, it, can be, it can be kind of nerve-wracking sometimes, you know, you have to come up with the whole semester um, all by yourself. So yeah, I mean, we just teach English and I mean, it's exactly what it sounds like, um, yeah. It's also cool because there's very little oversight. There's not um, someone checking up on you a whole lot. You've got a lot of freedom and it's a lot of responsibility, you know, to make sure classes get taught correctly, you get your grades in on time, that sort of thing. Let's see, I typically work about 10 hours a week in the classroom, but that's not counting, you know, how long it takes me to prepare for, for classes. So yeah, on paper, I mean, you'll, you'll work like between 10, I think last, I think the first year I was doing like maybe 12 or 13 hours per week. And that's only during the semester. So that's about 12 weeks, so like three months. And then you have tests in January may yeah yeah you, you have some tests that you'll probably have to like you'll you'll sit in the in the room and watch them take their tests and then in um, may and june there are also some tests that you just basically you just sit in the classroom and you just watch them take their tests and then you grade it after and you turn in the grades and then so for july and august um you're off pretty much most of january like half of january half of december you're off as well and I mean, it's still paid. So it's like you get like three or four months paid vacation, which is nice. So how did I get the job? Let's see, I was studying. I just finished a study abroad program and I was communicating with my teachers back at my home university. There was one class that I had to take at the university, at my home university in California. And they, uh, yeah, and I was trying to convince them to just, let, just, just give me my degree basically. And then so through those, you know, those emails, they just said, hey, there's also this position at this French university. Do you want to teach English there? So I said, yeah, sure. And that's how I got that job. So my my home university, the university that I graduated from, they had this kind of exchange program where they send their students to teach English in at this university. And the university that I teach at right now, they send French students to go teach French at my university in California. So they have that kind of exchange going on. At this job, I make about 1,235 euros a month. You know, the pay is really nice because you're, you're not working a ton of hours. You have a lot of time to travel or do other things. You also have half of December, half of January off. You have July and August off, but those are still paid. So you get like three months paid vacation in May. You only work like two days maybe. June, you also only work two days because you just have to 
like watch the students take a test and then grade the test and that's pretty much it so it's kind of like those two months are paid vacation as well so it's it's a it's a pretty decent job right like you get some good experience teaching at the university level you get decent pay and a lot of time off so an average day of work usually it starts with the prep right like before i even get to class i plan everything out plan out what we're going to do um, a lot of times the, the there will be like a head teacher who will kind of guide you but there's a lot of it you're just on your own he'll just kind of tell you study these things he'll give you like a brochure that you work out of maybe maybe and then you just uh yeah you you plan the lesson ahead of time and i always have backups you know in case things don't work like sometimes the computer won't work or or whatever right so you plan it out then you get to class and you just teach english out of the you know the brochure or whatever and it's, it's pretty straightforward it can be really challenging though to get the the students interested it can be stressful though at times i'll make another video you know where i talk about the challenges and how to overcome those challenges in this job because it can be really tricky i obviously you have to be 18 years old i think that goes pretty much without saying you need a bachelor's degree or whatever the equivalent is in your country so you need um you know your basic i think it's like four year degree in france it would be three uh yeah but you just need that that bachelor's degree or whatever the equivalent is um you don't necessarily have to know french but it helps i'm sure it would help a lot all of the administrative stuff is in French with your visa, with um, when you talk to, when you have to communicate with the school, the administration at the school, that's all in French. So knowing French is definitely gonna help you a lot. Native or near native fluency in English or the language that you're going to teach. And I mean, that's really about it. I mean, they're not like really crazy unattainable requirements. I mean, it's pretty, pretty basic. Um, some things you're going to need if you're looking for this kind of job, you're going to need a French You're going to need to put your resume in French. I think they want both. They want English and French Some universities and you're also going to need a cover letter or une lettre de, de motivation In English and French. I would just get them both Out of the way, right? Like um, so if you're if you're applying to several universities You have both and you don't have to think about it Also, if you need help putting your resume into French or writing a cover letter anything like that, check out our friend in France service. We, we do that sort of thing. Some tips on getting this job. I would say if you're in school right now, talk to your school and see if they have any connections with a university in France. That could be probably the easiest way. If not, if you're not going to school or if they have no connections, anything like that, what you should do is Google French universities. Like say you pick a town you know, a city that you want to live in, maybe Paris is going to be tough. Everyone wants to go to Paris, so I would recommend going to like smaller cities. Also try the like outskirts of Paris, you know, that could be good. But you probably have more chances in, in smaller cities. What you should do is you should find the university and go on their website and look for the English department. Contact the English department and ask them if they have any positions for English teachers, right? For a uh, lecteur d'anglais. And it's really going to be a challenge. It's going to be disorganized and you're gonna have to be really persistent, okay? So a lot of these schools, they already have, they already have connections with other universities. So they're not really, they don't have to advertise for this sort of thing. They just, uh, you know, it's easier for them to find them. So you have to kind of go out of your way and, and really show them that you want the job and apply. But yeah, I mean, I, I, really, I've, I've really enjoyed this job. The first year was terrible and it took me a long time to learn how to do it and to be comfortable and to, to be good at it and to actually learn to enjoy it, right? Like it's, it's all about not being stressed. Like it's really important to not freak out and to just kind of, you know, laugh it off. Like sometimes the students, they're not gonna work. They're not gonna understand what you're saying. They're not gonna, they're gonna be lazy sometimes and you just don't get frustrated. You just kind of laugh it off and then, you know, it'll be a good time. You know, it could actually be a good time. Okay, so now I'm really excited to get some of your questions. I asked you guys on Facebook, no. Yeah, kind of Facebook too, but I asked you guys on Instagram what you wanted to know about this position. And so here we go, let's do this. 
So in general, I would say that most, like the vast majority of the students, of the French students learning English are not good. Their, their English level is so bad. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what, what happened. Most French students have been studying English in some capacity since they were like in middle school. So uh, I don't know. I don't know why they're so bad. Some students are, you'll get some students who are really good, but most of them, mm, nah. Yes, there are a lot of other positions you know, not just for teaching English. English is not the only language that um, that they teach, you know, at universities. Spanish, German, uh, I think I saw Dutch, Croatian. I mean, it depends on the university, but um, just definitely look into it. There are a ton of other languages that you could teach. Let's see, it, I, I can't really say if it was difficult to, to work and learn French because I already spoke French really well before I took the job. So, um, I mean, yeah, it, it depends on you, how fast you learn languages, how close French is to your own language, that sort of thing. Okay, so the visa that I have is a temporary work visa. Um, you, let's see, what did I do to apply? So once you are hired, just ask the university how to go about getting the, the visa. They'll, they'll guide you. They have to, like, they'll write out a contract for you. They'll have some paperwork that proves that you work at the university and they'll give it to you and, and you know, they'll, they'll help you with the process. But yeah, for this job in particular, it is renewable for one year. So you can do a total of two years as a lecteur d'anglais. And the contract is for one year. So you're going to have to renew your visa, um, you know, after a year. Let's see, do I make enough to live in Paris? Let's see, for me personally, it's difficult to answer because I, I have a few different income streams and I already made enough with street French to live off of. And so um, this job teaching English, uh, I mean, it just kind of goes in the bank, like all, you know, the money I make. But it depends where you live in Paris. It might be tough to make it on this salary. But if you live in a smaller city, it should be no problem. If you live within your means, if you live kind of like a student, you know, you could totally live comfortably, put some money away to travel, that sort of thing. Is there an age limit? I don't think there is an age limit. Um, they probably want to take someone younger, you know, in their early 20, you know, somewhere in their 20s. I was working, one of my colleagues, she's like 32, I think. So I, I don't really think there's an age limit. But younger, you know, if you just graduated college, that, that probably helps. So that just about wraps it up for this video. And if you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to get back to you. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, salut.